Hi friends, it's Monica and let's review the book series Bear Tom by Frederick Backman. This is a literary fiction series and I have the first book here which is Bear Tom and then the second book is Us Against You and the third book is The Winners. This series is originally written in Swedish but it has been translated into English and I think they did a pretty good job at capturing the author's unique writing style as well as the plot itself and not have any translating mishaps. Let's start off with a very quick summary. We're set in a small Swedish town known as Bear Town and this community lives and breathes hockey. The hope of this community rests on the shoulders of their junior ice hockey team who are heading into their championship. After a pivotal event strikes the town, every citizen is affected and now justice is being sought out. That is the basic premise of Bear Town book one, but for the rest of the series in book two and three, there are new problems that our community faces. A trigger warning that you should be aware of is that there is talk of rape in this book series, so if that is not something you're comfortable with, just skip this book series and take care. Going on to my positives of this book series, immediately when you first start reading this book, you will pick up on the unique writing style that Frederick Backman has. It's written in the third person POV but we follow many different characters in the town including hockey players, parents, coaches, regular townsfolk, other teenagers, and you really see how on the page they are very raw and real and to see how they are going through their lives especially in some difficult situations. There are many emotional and impactful stories that we hear from these characters and each character they have their own unique background and it's very easy to care for them while you read along. I do have quite a few favorites. I really like Ahmed, Maya, Benji, Bobo, and Peter. There is many characters in this book so I'm pretty sure you'll find someone to at least favor. Each of these characters, they have their own unique voice and struggles. And it's very deeply explored of their own emotional growth and coming to terms with themselves and new transitionary periods in their life. The setting in itself is also a character and this town really does come to life with its wintry scenes and with hockey being such a forefront in this plot. You can see how interconnected this small town is and how everyone knows each other. With the hockey storyline, you really do get to see the tension being built up throughout the plot. You know how you watch sports games, sometimes there's such intense build up and emotions. It's kind of like the same thing in Bear Town. Themes that I really liked in this book were family, loyalty, community, strength, bravery, and sport culture. When you reach the end of each book, you're just left wanting more and I really enjoyed having the load of hints to our character's future and overall I really did love how this series ended although it can get very emotional and heartbreaking. Now onto the negatives. There aren't that many, but although we are set in one small town, Bear Town, there is another small town head and they have a small town rivalry. At this point, it got a little bit repetitive in terms of plot, but I could see how it develops throughout the series and how important it is to touch upon like how people from different communities work with each other and against each other. Another thing that I disliked was the locker room talk because we do focus on a hockey team and they're still in high school so they're teenage boys so they have locker room talk. It was just kind of distasteful to write about. <laughs> Lastly, as much as I love the writing of this author, I felt there were a lot of repetitive literary phrases that were being used throughout each book. I thought these phrases were repeated so often, I just would have liked to see a little bit more concise writing, which does lead into wanting the lengths of book two and three to be a little bit shorter. Like this book is 400 pages. <laughs> book two is around the same as 430 pages, but like with the winners, it ends up being like <laughs> close to 700 pages. And I was like, is it necessary for it to be 700 pages long? But overall, I really did enjoy this series so much and although there are some negative points, I really had a fun time reading about the small town and their life of hockey. I really do highly recommend that you check out this series if you want to read about a small town and community who are 
overcoming their struggles in hockey as well as in their personal lives. Those are all my thoughts on the Bear Town series and I hope you enjoyed watching this book review. Comment down below if you have read the series and what your thoughts are on it. With all that being said, don't forget to give me a huge thumbs up and that subscribe button down below and also don't forget to ring the bell to not miss any future uploads and I'll see you all in my next one. Bye! Thank you.